Man convicted in Texas's controversial shaken baby case has been given more time after the state's Supreme Court stepped in late last night to halt his execution. Robert Robertson is set to testify Monday in front of state lawmakers at a hearing about his case. He's always maintained his innocence in his two-year-old daughter's death, and his attorney says new evidence proves he was wrongfully convicted. NBC News correspondent Priscilla Thompson joins us now with more. Priscilla, walk us through the latest right now and remind viewers a little bit of how we got to this point. Yeah, so as it stands right now, the execution warrant expired last night at midnight. There is no other warrant that has been issued at this time, and it is because the court stepped in after the Texas House subpoenaed Robert Robertson and said that this execution could not go forward because he was under subpoena. Now, that issue is going to continue to play out in the courts. We just got word that there is a hearing on that at the end of the month. But as you noted, Robertson expected to testify on Monday, and then we'll see if he remains under subpoena after that, but we were on the ground last night as this back and forth was happening with the appeals and working its way all the way up to the Texas Supreme Court. There were supporters there holding signs and also lawmakers there saying that they believe Robertson is innocent and that his story needs to be heard by the public. Listen to what one lawmaker had to say. For 22 years, uh, this man has been held in prison on death row, and we're hoping that finally with this ruling today with the state and the Supreme Court's decision that the Texas House will be able to help bring to light the truce in this case. And at this point, Robertson has exhausted his appeals, but the hope is that public pressure could lead to a different outcome in this case. Uh, criminal justice officials who were in the prison tell us that when Robertson found out he would not be executed, he praised God and thanked his supporters. Ellison. And Priscilla, where do we think this case will go from here? We mentioned that hearing with lawmakers, but a judge probably is the one who ultimately needs to weigh in here, right? Yeah, so it, the issue in the courts is around the balance of power and whether the Texas legislature has the power here with the subpoena or whether the state has the power here with their ability to execute someone who uh, is sentenced to die. And so that is what the courts are looking at here. They're not looking at the actual facts of the case. And so after this hearing happens on Monday, will the Texas House try to keep him under subpoena and buy him more time? The governor could also step in still and issue a 30-day reprieve, but of course he did not signal over the past several days that he, that was something he was going to do. Ellison. Priscilla Thompson, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.